What's good, everybody? Today's video is going to be all about how to turn up the volume with air drying. Believe it or not, both sides of my head right now are dried and post fluff. And I'm just trying to show you that your routine matters. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the do's and the don'ts if you want to be achieving more volume and definition with your styling, even if you're air drying. Because you may be struggling with achieving volume in your roots and definition in your curls, which is ultimately destroying your style and not giving you the results that you want. So let me show you how in today's video. I also just want to address this. I know I sound terrible. The volume is not off. My volume is off. I'm not my hair volume, but my voice is, is a little, it's a little raspy. I had a hell of a birthday week, thank you. I have not fully recovered, so I'm trying to stay hydrated. And uh, you're gonna have to bear with me if you want all the deets in this video. Do you still want the answers? I'm sure you do. Okay, then keep watching. There will be about five phases to this process. So let's start with phase one, the wash. Of course, before we dry our hair, we have to style it. And before we style it, we're probably going to wash it, right? You see, this is very, very, very important, as I have stated in many of my previous videos, that a good, proper cleanse on your wash day will result in a good style. Now, I did already go ahead and wash my hair, and I did it right because doing it wrong hurts me. So I thoroughly cleansed my scalp and my hair to remove any buildup that could be weighing my hair down. And when I conditioned, I applied on the mids to ends first instead of piling it on my roots, which a lot of us tend to have a very bad habit of. So don't put conditioner and product right directly on your root, but do start on your mids and your ends and work it through your hair. And you can see more on how I wash my hair in some of my wash day videos. But right now we gotta get to styling. So phase two, let's talk about products that we're gonna be styling with. What you don't want to do is use too many products with really heavy ingredients. You can tell if a product is very heavy based on its viscosity or how thick it is. Heavy ingredients like shea butter and coconut oil can weigh the hair down tremendously, especially if your hair is fine. So what you do wanna do especially if your hair is fine, is use more water-based products that are thin and lightweight in texture. Phase three, which is the application. Now in this world of endless techniques, today I will be sharing my technique to achieve volume and definition in the roots. This technique is proven because I know that it doesn't just work for me. I use this technique in salon on all of my clients when I'm styling their hair and I have clients with all textures all the way from 2A waves to 4C coils and everything in between. So here's what you're not going to do on the don't side. I'm going to clip away my good side here. Keep the moisture in. Okay, so I'm going to explain the do's and the don'ts of the application. <clears throat> Number one, what you're not going to want to do, therefore don't, the first thing is my hair is soaking, sopping wet. I do not want so much moisture in my hair when I'm going to be adding even more moisture from products. And the reason why I think is self-explanatory, that is going to be really heavy and it's gonna take forever to dry. So I really try not to completely soak my hair so that it is dripping wet, but I like to make sure that it is wet enough that I can hear the squish and I know products will get through my hair evenly and easily. Next, please don't apply your product directly on your root. This is going way too close to the scalp and it is really going to be weighing your roots down, especially if you have fine hair. Now what you do want to do is when you're putting the product on, always start on your mids and ends first, rake it through, really make sure it's saturated. Squish the hair to make sure you hear it in there. There's enough and start off with a little bit first You can always add a little bit more and then as you're working it through your hair You're getting a little bit up to the roots and now let's take a look at how I am Thoroughly applying this product. So here I'm using the Denman brush 
And I see a lot of people when they're using this brush, brush downwards. Anytime you're applying products, when you're applying downwards, you are pulling the curl from the root. Now, this is gonna make the curl stack all on top of each other and not actually be able to flourish. Where you can see on the do side, instead of brushing down with the brush, I work in vertical sections and I style off of the scalp. Off of the scalp, outwards and up, up and away. What this is gonna do is create more individual curl definition instead of making them all clumped together into this one fat ringlet. Whether you're using a brush to style your hair or if you're just using your fingers, you always wanna work off of your scalp. So either move your body, move your head, but maneuver yourself so that you are not just pulling on your roots downwards. Now I usually don't like to style completely upside down because although the top might look good, the underneath might look like a bird's nest when you flip back up. So I just like to work the sides outward and I've clipped away the top section, as we can see. Top of my head is clipped away. I worked everything on the sides and back outward off the scalp and everything on top, up, up and away, always off of the scalp. Guys, really bear with me with my voice here. I'm struggling, but I'm doing it for you. And lastly, you can see, I started to apply my gel to give it all hold and to help with definition. Now when I'm applying gel, I find that the more you put on, you may have more definition, but it can be harder to break that cast after and then harder to get the volume that you want. So on the don't side, you can see I use a generous amount of the gel, considering this is only for half of my head. And then the way I applied it was just a bit of a no-no. I really worked it through, raking it through my hair, which is not only using a lot of gel, but it's also now breaking up the definition and putting gel into the curls. I don't like to put gel in the curls. I wanna put gel on the outside of the curls. I am actually in physical pain over this. Allow me to take over and do things properly over on the do side. Watch closely. You can see on the do side here that when I'm applying my gel, I actually just put it on my hands and then I scrunch it in. So yes, this is using less product and it won't be really getting near your roots, but you can always apply a little bit to your roots if you want. However, since we're here for volume and we want volume in the roots, I'm not gonna be putting too much hold up there. What I really wanna do is just to find the outside of the curls leaving the roots with the least amount of product. Now moving on to stage four. Unfortunately, the longest stage of this process. This is when we'll be drying the hair. Now we're gonna let nature take its course and I will be air drying throughout the house. Now what you don't wanna do over here is be a statue. What you do wanna do is actually move your head around a bit. Stimulate some airflow. My number one issue with air drying is that the roots never get as much love as the ends. The ends are free flowing, and as they move about, as you're moving about, they will be drying first. So I do like to kind of switch up the root motion to get more volume in the roots. And as I'm air drying, I will very gently flip my hair over the opposite way that I want it to fall so that it will fall with more volume and when I flip it back I will have more volume although I don't want to keep it in this position the whole time the reason is however your hair dries is where it's going to want to stay if you want a lot of movement and volume in your hair then you need to move your hair don't touch the curls move them around so just very subtly get this kind of dance on Swing it, let it be free, and you will be getting much more volume. So come along with me on the air drying process. Let's see how long this thing really takes. Put a timer on. And hopefully this will all be dry soon so I can come back on and finish this video today. Okay everybody, so it's been 30 minutes and I am in pain. 
my scalp is so wet and cold over here where this side is drying much faster and it's still wet I still have quite a ways to go but I don't know if I can just sit inside anymore so I'm gonna go sit outside God, I sound like a bag <clears throat> I'm gonna go sit outside so hopefully the heat can evaporate some of the hair but keep in mind, it's summertime here. I usually don't like to air dry in the summer, especially if it's humid out. But let's check the weather one second. Yeah. Yeah. Humidity is at 40%, but I, I need the heat to help to dry this hair. So I'm going to go do that. Been over an hour now. God. Okay, wait. Well, this side that I've been trying to flip and move around is killing the game when you compare it to this. It's literally so wet. Who does this? And why? Like my my scalp is cold. The ends are drying. Like they're definitely more dry, but it's so moist up here. I'm gonna be like this all day. Nearly three hours later, we're finally here. I could not wait any longer. This side has been dried for 40 minutes at least. And this side is still a little damp in some areas. I have not fluffed it yet. I have not done anything. I was just drying as I said I would. So now we need to move on to phase five which is the fluff and finish. Now, if I really want this to be a nice, lightweight, voluminous style, I don't go in with any products to scrunch. I really just soften out the cast. This is what I like to do, so this is my do. Soften out the cast. Now, usually, see here, we got this big clump of curls. Usually I try to break this up while it's wet, but this one was sort of a uh, slip my eye. So I'm going to break this up now, very gently. But the reason is you don't want to cause frizz. So that's why I like to do it when it's wet beforehand. But here we are, everything's good. We're all okay. And then I just like to, of course, fluff out the root. And I always do that from underneath. I want you to take note and how much movement there is. The curls have their own individuality. They're all in their own little families. Oh, you know, this looks so good. Now for the don't side, feeling pretty stiff. Pretty stiff. It's a lot of product, but not just that. All my curls are clumping in one area. It gave me a really elongated style. Nothing wrong with it, it's just different. You can see maybe a lot more curl definition. But if you want volume, if you're doing anything like I did on the don't side, this could be your problem. So I mean, I'm going to try to fluff this out and see. I will show you. I find, oh my god, it's so thick. If you don't put the volume in right away, it's nearly impossible to get it after. This side of my head is literally weighed down. You can see it's much straighter at the root than on the do side. And I can try to fluff this out for days, but it's really gonna wanna revert back to its natural state because that's how it dried, that's how it was applied. You've gotta put the volume in right from the start with lightweight products, with your application technique, and with drying. And without further ado, this is how you should do it. You can still get pretty big hair on day one, after a few hours, but on day one, with air drying, it just all depends on your techniques. What do we think, everybody? Which side do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below. 
And if you are not someone that likes to air dry, like you're a diffuser person, then you need to make sure that you have watched my diffusing video, which was my original do's and don'ts video that I did a side by side of all the things you're doing wrong when you're diffusing and all the right things you should be doing when you're diffusing. Also, let me know any other future videos that you need from me because I am here for you. This has been great. I have to go wash one side of my head now. And until next week, I'll see you guys later. Peace. The bigger the hair, the harder they stare. This black I also feel way too much product. I just can't. <laughs> but it's just not big enough. Don't videotape me. Don't videotape me. Yep. Take it off. Okay. Right now. How come my hair is wavy at the root and curly at the bottom? Is the sound okay on this thing? Oh wait, it's just me. Oh hey, what's good everybody? Take it off.